Happy Ascension Day. Today is important for two reasons. One, every year um, on this day, we remember Jesus's ascension, the day he went from being one man in Palestine in the at the beginning of the first century to being everywhere um, accessible throughout time as he ascended into the heavens. And it's because he ascended that wherever we are, we can pray to him. Today's also important because it kicks off the global prayer movement, Thy Kingdom Come. And um, St. Andrews, as last year, we participated in that prayer movement, and I hope that you are too. We'll be praying every day between now and Pentecost for five people to come to know Jesus Christ. And since um, we're still sort of in isolation and can't come together to pray, um, we'll be doing, I'll be doing a devotional every day of the week, um, either by video or sometimes I'll just write it out. Um, I've used a lot of these devotionals. We'll um, be drawing from this wonderful book called The Lord's Prayer by Wesley Hill, A Guide to Praying to Our Father. And I'll be touching on a different line from The Lord's Prayer, um, every day. I recommend this book. It's very deep and profound, but also easily accessible and readable and short, which is always nice. That's the Lord's Prayer, A Guide to Praying to Our Father by Wesley Hill. So today I'll be starting our first devotional. We'll focus on the line, Our Father Who Art in Heaven. Our Father Who Art in Heaven. 
On the last day that Jesus was on earth in his body, he stood with his disciples and told them about the kingdom of God. Then he told them to go to Jerusalem and wait for the promise of the Father. Then they went and prayed for 10 days. On the 10th day, they received the promise of the Holy Spirit. And what a gift that was. When you and I pray over these next 10 days, we are also praying for God's promises to come true in our lives and in the lives of the five people for whom we have chosen to pray. How do we know that God will hear us? Because like Jesus, we can address him as Father. Wesley Hill, in his beautiful introduction to the Lord's Prayer, explains that we call God Father, not because he is biologically male, he is beyond gender. Um, rather, the biblical metaphor Father implies the source or fount of life. God created from nothing. He was the Father who spoke creation into being. He was the Father, the um, initiator of Israel. Furthermore, Jesus himself called God Father to describe his own unique eternal relationship with God. Jesus invites us, both men and women, to share in that intimate relationship. As Wesley Hill writes, Jesus's use of the word our beckons us to take our place alongside him. Imagine Jesus sitting on the sofa right next to his father, and he pats the cushion right next to him and says, come right, sit right next to us and tell us what is on your heart. Can you imagine how closely he will listen and how intently he will care about what you say? Today, as you make your prayers, carry that image of intimacy with God and boldly speak to God about your cares for the five people on your heart. Know that you are not intruding on him or bothering him. He has invited you. He is not a domineering or a distracted father staring at the TV, but a life-giving and nurturing father who longs for you to sit beside him in the same seat as Jesus. This is for your reflection. How do you feel about the metaphor of father? How does your own relationship with your father affect how you understand God as father? How does it help or hurt you when you approach God in prayer? I've included in this video a few scriptures for further meditation um, and encourage you to take a look at them and ask, what do they tell you about God as Father? Let us pray. Father God, thank you that you gave me life and that through Jesus Christ, I am your son or your daughter. I bring you today these friends and family members who do not know you as their father or Jesus as their brother. I pray by your Holy Spirit that you would initiate life in them, that you would spark their hearts to seek you, soften their hearts to enable them to receive you, and that you might even give me a heart and an opening to share you with them as Jesus shared you with me. Amen.